Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mel Lin from BT1403. I am currently studying in Business Enterprise IT. And today, I'll be presenting about mass media and the manner in which mass media influence opinions. My content will be based on history and evolution of mass media, types of things mass media has an influence on, advantage of mass media, disadvantage of mass media, and I will end with a summary of how I think the mass media influence opinions. First, I'll be talking about the history and evolution of mass media. The term mass media was coined with the creation of print media, which is notable for being the first example of mass media as we use the term today. This form of media started in Europe in the middle of ages. However, the term media only started getting used more frequently in 1920s. Mass media in the 1920s was based around print media such as newspapers. It was only during the post-Second World War that, that media such as radio, television and video were included. Mass media at the present has evolved and is driven by technology-based media such as internet, mobile phones, blogs, podcasts, and RSS feeds. Moving on, I'll be talking about the types of things mass media has an influence on. Mass media has an influence on a lot of things ranging from politics, racism and stereotyping, and people's perception of an ideal body type, and even what is acceptable by society today. Mass media has both its advantages and disadvantages. Its advantages include its ability to reach a large population across the globe. It can also help people influ influence people adopt a healthier lifestyle. For example, an ad campaign that is hosted by a popular celebrity promoting sports can cause teenagers or kids to want to take up sports themselves too. A quiz show on education that is popular and viewed by many kids can help them increase their knowledge. Also, documentaries that explore other countries on their culture can help increase cultural awareness, help people embrace cultural differences, and even clear some cultural misunderstandings. The disadvantages of mass media is that it promotes racism and stereotyping. The media tend to focus on African-American types in the context of crime, drug use, gang violence, and other forms of antisocial behavior. This has resulted in a distorted and harmful public perception of African Americans. Africans and African Americans have then been subjected to oppression and discrimination to the past few hundred years. The media also exposes children and teenagers to risk of harm, such as the hit reality show Teen Mom might indirectly promote teen pregnancy to underage kids. And also, when the media portray violence, it, it might indirectly cause kids growing up to have a more violent personality and nature. Also, the media tend to impose false ideas of how people should look like. In conclusion, I think that the mass media has influence on both positive and negative opinions depending on the content and image it is trying to portray. For example, if it is trying to portray positive behaviors such as promoting a healthier lifestyle or promoting a better, a cleaner and greener environment, it will help people to it will help people have a more positive behavior. And if it's portraying negative things such as teen pregnancy, of violence and drug use, it might put it might influence children growing up to be that way too. That is the end of my presentation. Thank you.